Okay, I um, got a short video on my uh, part on these parts that I'm going to use for uh, constructing that two-phase alternating current generator. Uh, um, I guess slash uh, what is it? The the series wound motor. It's going to be a series wound motor with the uh, in combination of Tesla's two-phase current generator that I put in my last video. Um, I've been feeling kind of sick uh, these past few days, so I haven't been able to do much. Uh, it's been kind of a rough cold, but um, you know, it's it, this this uh, was a um, you know just like a regular uh, AC motor, like a uh, this was a small grinder that was uh, mounted to a table. It had the same kind of shape that uh, that that video kind of showed Tesla's alternating current motor like so I'm gonna try to do this use the same thing that he did and uh, this is uh, one of the magnets I got out of a you know large DC motor that I got from the recycle center um, I accidentally chipped it as I was getting it out the other one actually broke so I have to find another one now but uh, yeah like in like in the video or like in my last post uh, like this magnet is going to be, you know, put in here. Probably, I'm probably going to have uh, something in between the magnet and the outer wall there to keep it stable, like in this position, like about that far away from the side. And I'm going to uh, wrap copper wire around the um, outer rim of the magnet so that the inside of the rim of the magnet doesn't have any copper wire. Um, exposed to it so it'll all, the magnet will block any current from uh, uh, greet going into the router by uh, the copper wire that's going to be wound on the outside of it so the magnet should block any extra current that would interfere with the router in that in that sense so I'm that's the way I'm going to try to design it make it so I can have like I said in the last video I'm just going to be two magnets on the uh, both sides a north and a south and then I'm going to have copper wire, uh, two coils uh, wrapped around behind them. And uh, those two ends of those two coils are going to go to a battery. And the other two ends that come out are going to go into a commutator. Uh, let's see, this is the end that uh, has a hole in it. So this is where the, this is where the current's going to be in a two-phase. The, the shaft is going to come out. The four wires from the four coils on the other side is going to come out. So I'm going to use this side for the commutator. I'm going to I'm going to uh, just uh, try to figure out how to maybe pop this out or try to put some brushes in here so I can put a com. I'm going to basically try to build this side into a commutator. And uh, if everybody should know what a commutator is, you know this is what it is. It's a bunch of copper plates, you know, in a on a shaft like this, but this had this is from an AC motor. This is uh, uh, this has way too many coils. See, I, what I want for this specific design is uh, just four of these plates with two coils in here, and I, I'm not sure how I'm going to get. I might, I but because what what needs to be in this uh, router, it needs to have actually four coils. It needs to have two coils connected to the commutator that are coming from the say the back side of it so if it was standing like this and this was the front this is the back the commutator would need to be in the back like that and it would need to be four plates uh, connecting two coils and then on this side you have two coils with four wires coming out of it in into a two-phase alternating current like this so that's what I'm gonna uh, try to do like I kind of explained in my last video but uh, this is this is all the parts that I could uh, gather up for now and I haven't been feeling well enough to go and do much work uh, other than just kind of scrounging for parts because because <clears throat> I got a really bad cold and uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, get uh, you know this kind of thing set up going. Hopefully, 
it's going to be interesting trying to build the router piece and the commutator, but the that machine exists and it's in Tesla's museum in Belgrade, so you know they they got one, they built one, and I'm going to try to build my own because <laughs> obviously they don't sell these kinds of machines anywhere. You're going to have to build it. So, okay, that's my short video for now on my little design here for what I'm going to try to build next. It's going to be a two-phase alternating current generator that is going to be fed into four, four coils. And those four coils are going to perform the rotating magnetic field uh, because the coils in this generator are going to be 90 degrees um, out of phase. And so as as the two that are coming and going around close to the magnets, those, that's the current that's going to be fed into the two external wires, or the, the four external wires, excuse me, that go into the coils. Well, actually, only two uh, wires at a time, or, or two, uh, yeah, basically one coil at a time is going to be energized, performing the rotating magnetic field for just two quarters of it. And then the other coil is going to perform the other two quarters of it. So it's going to have two quarters and then two quarters, so it's going to keep performing the rotating magnetic field. And at the same time, what's going to turn this is going to be a DC setup in the back. It's going to have um, wires going around the magnets here, going, connecting to a battery, and the other two ends are going to connect to the commutator. So as the coils are going and getting energized, the other coils from the battery are being uh, alternately energized but not they're they're just pulsating like plus minus plus minus plus minus and it's and it's and it keeps energizing the coils that keep it moving just like a DC motor but at the same time it's going to be feeding out a two phase alternating current that's going to perform the rotating magnetic field that'll be able to turn uh, a flywheel of some sort uh, maybe another generator but I haven't got that far ahead in my planning yet, so I'm going to go ahead and stop it right there and uh, take some more uh, medicine and try to get it better so I can continue working on this stuff. But uh, Sorry for uh, for the l delay. It's just, I'm a little under the weather and I can't, I just don't have the, uh, you know, the energy to do this stuff when I'm sick. So, okay, thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned. Hopefully I'll get uh, another video up soon.